Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so very, very much for all the support on the Ark series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. If you're not new, you've probably seen me before and I'm always wearing green and orange arm and you're probably like, what's up with the blue? Well, apparently... I have been JTP. <laughs> so, Joe the Pirate, my friend that also plays on this server and makes videos. I'll put a link to his uh, his channel in the description so you guys could probably check out the little pranking video. But uh, he went around doing some base tours and apparently he pranked everybody wearing some blue and black armor. So, I'm not too sure. I was, re <laughs> I was relatively surprised. Like, I didn't know what to expect. He said, just be aware that I did something to you guys. So, I was just moving around some dinosaurs after a little fight from an Argentavis. Oh, Oh, Anklo Egg. Oh, hey. What's up? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get that egg, boo. Let me get that egg. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I was just walking around making sure my uh, all my dinos were um, put in their place. And it said, you've been JTP'd. So, that was pretty funny, man. I liked... I actually love the blue and the black colors, too. It's a very, very exquisite pattern. But I am going to have to go back to green and orange because he probably hadn't, didn't have enough dye and he forgot my weapons and stuff anyway. So I'll just have to go make some dye. It's no big deal. Anyway, speaking of dye, I thought about dyeing some saddles today and I also want to work a little bit on the base. I think the next step to the base of operations is going to be a bird nest. I had to make another saddle for FedEx. FedEx, by the way, is starting to get some serious weight limit on it. I mean, for, for not having to train this bird at all, for just letting him do, you know, he's gotten passive experience through, I guess, our crafting and the fights that happen every once in a while here. But I never brought him out to really train. As you can see, his melee damages or melee. Let me, let me, let me preface by saying this. As long as it had its ease in it, my mouth just wants to enunciate the ease. I'm sorry, guys. So it's going to take me a little while to transition. I apologize for those who sticklers about the English language and the way things are pronounced. This channel is going to hurt your ears on a daily basis. I just, <laughs> I just have you know, I mispronounce stuff all the time. At any rate. The melee damage has never been increased. We're at 257.3%, and um, that's pretty much stock standard. Uh, stamina is 1875, which is a relatively decent stamina for what I need, for what I use this bird for. But look at that weight limit, 781. In retrospect to that, check this out. Manny, which has multiple points put into weight as well is only at 725 and he is a mammoth so yeah fedex can carry some serious weight around and another addition to the weight world is big bird now big bird's only level 41 he was one of my first brontos actually he's my second bronto i actually had bert bertha big bertha that died previously this was in an earlier episode and ormonage was nice enough to tame a replacement for me and this was bert this was before the big level increases and the difficulty cap was raised but bert's level 41 and bert's level has Every level point has always been put into weight, and as you can tell, his weight is humongous. 1,982. He can hold basically 2,000 pounds. Now, he can't walk <laughs> with that much, but he can walk with a good 16, 1,700, which is wonderful. He is real slow, so when I take him up to the mountain, I make sure to grab a bunch of stuff, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be grabbing a bunch of stuff. I need stone. Stone, 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 stone. I want to finish off the bird nest, guys. The plan for the bird nest, let me show you all where I'm at i finished adding a little bit of the walls to make the entire crown molding and i'm glad y'all really liked it thanks for chiming in with all the um the hints last time you guys said that the way the foundations uh are placed kind of like where that bridge was is the same reason that the foundations are placed here i mean the the roofs are placed here because it's not just black magic well it is kind of black magic due to the way that it is but i guess the way that they work if i'm gonna if i can assess this right basically what happens is if a foundation is on the ground and is placed with a roof on it a roof can also be placed on top of that somewhere too so it's like the the ceiling detects the foundation below it, even though it's actually not connected with it, which is pretty radical. I mean, now, 
naturally you can't just place one in air like if i was just to have a roof right now and i tried to place it it wouldn't have a snap point on one notch above this floor plan um so you'd have to attach it to something but when it has an adjacent structure to attach to see like this corner piece right here all it knows is that there's a foundation somewhere in the lineup which is actually here and there is a foundation underneath here so uh or in the vicinity of so it kind of recognizes that and it goes with it so i shouldn't have another uh any problems with that another thing that y'all said is the wiring my wiring job they were like z why don't you just crouch to uh, to try to d dismantle the wiring and i think i'm gonna do that so let me go up here and kind of show y'all how the floor looks up here too yes it's very nice it's coming along quite well so i want to do um i want to seal in this floor naturally and i want to make a bird nest meaning that i'm going to go ahead and install walls all along this section here um probably too high is all i'm going to need just to store my birds there uh, because I do have a few birds and I use them regularly and I don't want them in the way and in danger of um, the bad thing about the birds is when they get attacked if you don't have them on neutral they can die and if they are on neutral and they get in a fight and the Argentavas that it's attacking tries to run away they'll follow it out which is pretty bad too so I don't want my birds left over um, and we do need some extra place for dinos anyway one of my extra plans also is going to be to extend uh, my yard all the way down to where that wall is which shouldn't be that bad and once that happens then I'll have more place to park dinos and so on and so forth we'll be able to do some stalls um, another thing is maybe I'm going to do some extensions out from my base here to park my Brontos so they're totally out of the, uh, the the danger zone right here. Because as long as they're in the water right here, the predators don't go anywhere around them. And with you can see the T-Rexes and Spinos that are lined up in my yard. Nothing's really going to come this far. So let me try everybody's suggestion. I have to crouch and then I have to try to demolish. And apparently... It's still not giving me the option. I'm going to go a little bit further. Dinosaur gate frame, stone ceiling. Stone ceiling. Let me go a little bit further. Stone ceiling. Electric cable straight. Guys, it is not giving me the option. Hold on, I'm looking. Look, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is balance. It's not happening. One more tap forward. Nope. One more tap forward. Oh, I'm on it. <gasps> hold on, 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 I'm on it, um, I'm gonna have to do the same thing right here, can I walk on this, this is like tightrope walking at its finest, I'm not close enough to that one, I'm gonna have to demolish this one and take the plunge, Wee! <laughs> that hurt, alright, let me see if I can do, oh, I'm still crawling, hold on, oh, hell, hell. wait, what's going on here, am I, am I, am I in the floor, oh, I just demolished my whole dinosaur gate. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> oh my God, really, game? You've got to be joking. Off of these stupid wires. <sighs> BRBs. All right, guys, we're trying it again. I don't know what got into me last time, but electrical cable straight, demolish. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's try this. We're going to try this one now. These electrical cables, I swear. Stone ceiling, no. Stone ceiling, no. I can't do it. Why? Oh, at the moment of victory. Demolish. Look at this, what I had to do. I had to put a ramp. I dang near killed myself. Oh, no, 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 that's the stone ceiling. Hold on. Why, why you gotta do this game? Why? Now I can't demolish this? Are you kidding me? It's gonna kill me if I fall. It is going to kill me if I fall. Maybe the reduced height coupled with the... I'll, I'm just gonna do it. Demolish wood ramp. All right. Oh, I lived. <laughs> I broke a leg, but uh, all that for some stupid electrical cables. I'm never placing electricity again until it's time to wire this place up. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so after the electrical wire fiasco, <laughs> I put the behemoth gate back. I had some extra ones that I had made. Now I'm down to two, but still. And I didn't know I had them, so I went and gathered a bunch of stone. I filled up FedEx, and this is what it's looking like. So, aside from all the other trash that he's got on him, look at the freaking stone and stuff that I have. So let's put some materials together. We're going to go ahead and grab as much stone as we can put in. And some wood. And we're going to make... I guess we'll go with walls. Well, let's go with ceilings right now. So we'll go craft three. Now, it looks like wood is going to be what I'm bottlenecking on here. So we'll put some wood in. Craft all two. And then we're going to need stone from there. Wood. It doesn't stretch too far. Let's see. And it looks like it'll be stone again. Craft. This is how I do it every single time. All right. That is all of the stone that I have on me. Let's hope I have enough wood to kind of supplement that amount. But I don't. It looks like I'm pretty much out of wood. Now, I'll go ahead and put everything that I have as far as stone back on FedEx. And that gives me 10 ceilings. And I do have some extra wood. I think, actually, Earth 2 might have wood, too. Earth 2 has 90 and 150. Uh, Manny has plenty of wood on him, too. So this will be crafting 2. And we're going to need stone. So we'll go back to FedEx. <laughs> Always managing resources, man. And we'll grab stone and this wood that I have here. And that should do for another one. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to need wood. Manny's going to have to do that for us. But we're almost out of stone anyway. We probably only have enough to make two or three more walls or ceilings. But we start with 13. So that's one load, which is 13 ceilings. Not too bad. I mean, when you think about it, it probably took me about 10 minutes to get that one load. If we go up there with Chubbernaut, it's going to be huge. So I think that's why, what we might do next. Let's see if FedEx can fly me up here. I like having the extra weight because it's a little slow. And Earth 2 is like extremely fast compared to uh, co compared to FedEx. So let's see if we can place some of these things. Uh, good, I can place on top of me. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, can I place... Oh, it's doing some crazy stuff. All right, there we go. <laughs> There's a few placed. I'm going to continue placing ceilings, you guys, and get this sucker fleshed out. All right, guys, so this is my new little system that I'm trying out here. I've been grabbing stone as I go and just loading Big Bird up, and the only other dino I have with me is Toucan Sam, just for a little bit of added protection. Not that I'm really scared of anything out here, uh, but it's when, like, there's, when if there are two or three sabers jump on me, or if, God forbid, I see an alpha, I am going to need a little bit to take, um, <laughs> to take Big Bird's, well, to take Big Bird's threats away, because Bert can't do a whole lot. <laughs> like, I can't run from stuff, I can kind of knock it back with my tail, but it's pretty rough. And this is, typically this is a dangerous area, because I'm getting close to the mountainside, but I've got just about a full weight limit on Bert. And I wanted to try out to see how much I can make here. And for some reason, birds in the ground. Okay, so now that I'm, I'm pretty much full right here, let's see. Uh, weight limit is 813 out of 1900. He can't move more, much more than this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an, I'm gonna make as much ceilings as I can. And the answer is. 37, <laughs> give or take. Like, I'm real, real close materials-wise to be able to do in another one, but 37 for that much weight is probably what's expected. Now, I think I'm going to make another load for the walls, and then I'm going to go for that. All right, guys, placing the last few walls here. I should have enough, I'm hoping at least, to do <laughs> what I'm doing here. Yes, I will, I will. So, I decided to go with the fortifications look, like a castle. And I gotta tell you, it looks cool. This is such a weird time of day, like, why am I seeing on top right here? What is going on with the lighting? Hold on. What is happening right now? Is my gamma all jacked up? Gamma? No, my gamma's fine. 
Dude, this is so weird. It's like... Ah, there's the dork. It was dusk or something like that, and man, the lighting was really weird. Let me go ahead and crank Gamma up just so you guys can see right now. But look at the fortifications. It looks so good. It looks like a castle. I love it. You know, I thought about adding like the door frames too instead of just the walls. But this looks really good from far away. Like somebody that's coming down the beach, let's just say. When they're approaching my tower and it renders in, I'm going to have to get rid of that scorpion. But when my tower renders in, look at that. It looks like a castle turret. I love it. Very, very much love it. Alright, let's see if we can get FedEx some cheap XP here. He never fights anything, as you can tell. <laughs> I was only a level 12 and it took forever. Oh man, that's so good though. I really like that. Alright, so the next step, now that we have our bird nest in, we can use it, which is phenomenal. Like, all of our birds can come up here, which is nice. Uh, if I'm not mistaken... I might need to pull one of their saddles. Let me pull FedEx's saddle right now. Sorry, the lighting is crazy. Gamma 3 is a little bit more manageable. And I need to put a hatch on this because... Hold on, I'm way down. FedEx, hold these walls, please. Oh, and I got stone too. Sheesh. Alright, very good. Now I'm a little bit more mobile. So I'm going to have to put a hatch on here because it is very, very much... Uh, it's dangerous. I fell down a while ago when I was placing walls. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I just fell. I've taken so much damage this episode. I haven't even fought a dinosaur. Uh, okay, now I'm off. I'm also going to have to add some light because it is really, really dark in here. Um, but I should be able to, let's see, Talon, yes. You will take a saddle now, just for the moment. And we will park you up top. And I think... I should be able to bring Speedy and Dactyl as well. If they just follow me, that would be great. Can we get you guys to follow? There we go. And there we go. Alright, you guys. This away. Let's see what we can do. Alright, Dactyl is not behaving. Naturally. Come on, Dactyl. Down. Down. There you go, silly bird. Let's go up here. Okay. We're landing. Good. And let's see if we can just... Hold on. Speedy, where you going? Speedykins. Uh, what I'm going to have to do here, I think, is park first. Okay. It's right near. Good. And let's see if we can do this correctly. We are going to have to tell him. There we go. Follow. Very good. All right. Now everybody stay. Talon. Wait, what am I doing here? Six. All right. Is everybody landed? I hate the way it's so dark and you guys can't see. All right. I believe everyone is landed. Which is great. Another thing that the turrets allow me to do as well, like this. Can I jump this wall? No, I cannot. I might have to put a ramp because I can get some really hot... Oh, or I could put a Giganto up here. Which I don't know how I'd get him up here. I'd have to build some sort of crazy ramp or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let me go back down and grab the rest of my birds. Okay, guys, I got all the birds up top. And now I would like to try a little bit of an extension. Uh, as y'all know, the, the back is pretty steep here, so I'm going to open it up, and the drop-off is incredibly steep down there. But what I want to do is try to play around with the, the pillars and stuff, and try to get the same concept as the ceiling and the bridge out there. So, I brought some scuba gear. I know last time y'all fussed at me like, Z, why didn't you wear the scuba gear? I don't know. I don't think about stuff like that sometimes. Alright, I'm down in the water here. Okay, now let's see what we can do. The first thing that we'll have to do is line up. Let's see, I already have a pillar there and there. Oh, that's because they're sticking out the bottom. No problem. All right, let me see what I can do here. So, what I need is a snap point like that. And then I can do another snap point, maybe. We'll try. It needs to snap, though. 
see I don't know it won't snap because it's not it's not close enough in line so what we need to do instead is put a ceiling and then another ceiling and then can we put another one yes and then we can go down with these just like that all right can I place another one I can't really tell in this <laughs> in this mess right here let me try one more five yes all right so that should be secure now all things point to where I should be able to put a roof right there um, let's try it zero oh snap can I put one right here can I put okay so the support definitely does work you guys that support definitely does work so now that I have that one out here let's see if I go out and do the same thing here let me get my it's so nice being able to stay on the water like indefinitely alright so I, I can't get a snap point right here regularly so let's try the the same roof thing here okay the roof is gonna be I guess we can't put one right there that's gonna be the height so let's go two out again and let's put down the pillars like so and let's see here I think that's the lowest I can go no that's the lowest I could go alright so we should be able to get the same thing here let's go ahead how's my stamina doing oh my stamina is fine you guys also said that when I stay still with the scuba gear on I can regain stamina alright that is fine so let's see let's go place some ceilings alright guys here we go can I go two out no I still can't go two out maybe it's just due to the placement of the pillars cuz I can go two out there <laughs> I think I might just have to widen that up again but that's definitely a much cheaper way of an extending it holy cow man I'm so glad I tried it because now I could go further back that's a great building technique so let's see where I can place these looks like I can go here will I be able to go there 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 why couldn't I place it right there I don't know what's up with that um not bad um I, I still I bet you I know what I can do to fix this let me grab just a, a couple last minute supplies here and I'll grab some regular ceilings and these also I don't think I have no I don't have enough wood to be able to do it I was gonna make one more stone ceiling but it doesn't matter I need two anyway so let's go down in the water here and put my scuba gear back on okay so what I should be able to do here is go out from here it's gonna look a little janky but that's okay and one more okay that's gonna be in line right there and then I'll go ahead and put down these pillars should be able to put one more now can I place the ceiling is the is the question I still cannot nearby foundation support it's definitely there maybe I'm not all the way down that's the only thing I can think of let's try one more pillar oh my god like an inch really this game today the game is trolling me you guys BAM it can place I don't have a stone ceiling but that is awesome okay well that's awesome now I can work on extending that indefinitely if I need to I think I might come up with a docking system not well not a system really but like an aesthetic type dock because of the rafts that are coming out soon and I think that would be really really cool to play around with some ramps into the water maybe and a little pier plus building with wood would be relatively easy you know so let's see how far this goes back oh man 
this is so good. I can do that like for a while, guys. This is going to be amazing. But I'm going to work on that. The fog's setting in too. That is going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this little bit silly yet uh, yet fun episode. I got a little bit of stuff accomplished. We got the bird nest done, and now we're set for some expansion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please don't forget to hit that like button for me to show you support. You can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljian signing off, and we'll see you next time.